The purpose of the vibrato exercise is to gain perfect control of the vibrato so that you can easily and smoothly change between any combination of any vibrato speed and any vibrato amplitude. Now this exercise is similar to the traditional vibrato and rhythms exercise, except we're not going to be doing these incremental speeding up uh, by rhythms. Instead, it's going to be a gradual speeding up. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see uh, my vibrato motion easily. So what we do is uh, I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to do first finger on the note A on the G string. What we're going to do is we're going to start super wide and super slow. Just nauseatingly slow and wide. And then you gradually speed it up very evenly until you get to kind of a normal vibrato speed. And then you gradually slow it down. speed. You can challenge yourself if you like. You can do the same thing. You can take it up to a normal vibrato speed and then you can take it even above a normal vibrato speed. So uh, I'm going to do second finger now on the D string. And by the way, you should practice this exercise on each of the four fingers. Yes, that includes the third finger on each of the four strings. Anywhere between the open string and a fifth above it. Okay, uh, so that means 16 times. So again, if you want to do the extra challenge, yeah, start out crazy wide and slow. Gradually speed up until you get to a normal speed. Now, here's what we don't want to have happen. As you're gradually speeding it up, you don't want your hand to suddenly go into this super fast, spastic, nanny goat vibrato. In other words, here's what we don't want. I'm going to do third finger, yes, third finger, on the A string, approximately on a C sharp. Again, this is what we don't want to have happen. Yes, we start out super slow. And then you don't want suddenly <laughs> for your hand to do that. If you feel like your hand wants to suddenly go into the super fast uh, vibrato speed, go up only to the speed that you feel like you can control the speed of your vibrato, and then maybe see if you can push it just a little bit beyond that. But don't go into, really try to avoid going into that super fast uh, spastic vibrato. Now, we want to practice it in the neck, I call it the neck register of the bass, but we also want to practice um, uh, this vibrato in the crook of the neck register between, in this case, the D and the F sharp, and, and the corresponding notes on all the other strings, okay? Uh, now, in this crook of the neck position, we actually want to practice it in two different ways. One is with the thumb not anchored on the crook of the neck. I like to just lay it right on the side of my first finger. And you also need to practice it with the thumb anchored in its more normal position. Just there in the crook of the neck. And then, in addition to that, we want to practice uh, the same vibrato uh, routine, starting out slow, speed up, and then slow down again. In this, in the thumb position register, from in that octave, on all, on all four strings. Okay? Uh, and you want to do it on all four fingers. That means the thumb, first finger, second finger, finger and third finger. And then finally, you want to practice the vibrato on on all the har harmonics on all four of the strings as well. So I hope you enjoy this exercise, and I hope that you uh, find some improvement 
uh, with your vibrato maybe rather quickly. So enjoy. <laughs> 